Now, I wonder how many people that Howard Stern's boy, Sal, how many people did Sal interview that said, you know, you know, the opposite of what these people said. They went to Harlem and they showed three black people saying, yeah, they agree with Obama's policies and they were saying John McCain's policies. You know, um, and they're saying this just goes to show you that black people are voting for Obama because he's black. Well, I don't know. I don't understand that. I truly believe that even if he went to Harlem and interviewed 50 people, he probably would have got more than three or four people not to know what the hell they're saying, just wanting to speak because there's a microphone or a camera in front of their face. There's a whole bunch of intangibles that you have to take into context here. You know, you walk up on the average person in the middle of the street and speak upon each one of these people's uh, policies, and they might get confused. But the question, uh, are you glad because uh, Obama picked Sarah Palin to be vice president, that was just flat out stupid. That was them getting the answers from the people that definitely did not know. And, you know, like I said, you can interview a whole bunch of white people about McCain, and I'll bet you you get the same thing. So when you go to Harlem and just catch people walking by random, you know, which people did he stop? Would what what were the quality of the did he stop a young kid with a baseball cap turned backwards and said, Who you voting for? I mean, who are these people that they're questioning? You know, these four people that I heard speak in Harlem do not represent me at all out in California. I voted for who I voted for because I thought that was the best person for the job. And I know I told people on the internet one thing, and I'm telling you the truth right now. I would never vote for nobody just solely because of the color of their skin. That's stupid. But just because this time there's a choice of a person other than the choices that we've been having in the past, there's a problem. There's a question. You question people's voting because somebody's black. So is that why everybody voted for Clinton? Hmm? Everybody knows in, in the course of the history of the American people, modern American people, Bill Clinton was the closest thing ever to a black president. At least that's what people, whenever you saw Bill Clinton, it was flanked by black people. I don't know. Right? It was a stretch, wasn't it? It's funny, too, huh? But now, just because Howard Stern found four dumb people, four people that did not exactly understand what they were talking about, four people that didn't know what they were talking about, you exploit the four, but how many people did know what you were trying to do in this piece? How many people gave him the correct answers like, hey, man, no, nah, he didn't pick Sarah Palin. Come on, man. How many people knew the right answers and they didn't play those interviews? So, Howard Stern, king of all media, it's just the old media trick, Stern. And we all know you're going to go out and vote for Obama anyway. Oh, well, yeah, Howard Stern, Sal, You've been too.